dear students welcome to the course on verilog hdl okay in the last four videos we discussed the first unit of the module right overview of digital design with verilog hdl we have discussed in detail the evolution of computer aided design okay from the breadboard to a cad tool and how emergence of hdls okay like verilog hdl vhdl has come out of that okay and the typical hdl flow also we have seen from design specification to the final chip okay and different processes and abstraction levels also we have seen and why verilog hdl particularly what are the advantages of verilog hdl and the future trends in hdls okay so in next uh, two three videos we will be looking at the unit 2 okay we will be discussing hierarchical modeling concepts okay so basically we will be seeing three topics here the design methodology the two types of design methodologies we will be looking at top down and bottom up and then differences between modules and module instances all the verilog programs are called as modules and their sub programs we call it as instances right what is the difference we will look at in general okay and then third one we'll see the parts of a simulation or components of a simulation nothing but the second program okay uh, writing the test bench okay so design block and stimulus block we'll be seeing and then we'll see an analogy of a uh, ripple carry counter okay so in the throughout the uh, unit we'll see the example of a ripple carry counter okay hierarchical modeling concepts so it will be used in uh, digital circuit design the designer must be use a good design methodology to do efficient verilog hdl based design so before we do any task we should plan it properly right same way immediately we got a circuit we should not jump into writing a code before writing code so which style we have to write the code we should be having a plan right that is what is nothing but design methodology okay so there will be two basic design digital design methodologies are there okay one is a top down design methodology and another is a bottom up design methodology okay so in the trends in hdls i told you the present trend is to use bottom up design methodology mixed right both should be mixed okay that is the trend so presently top down design methodology is used okay so that is the example we will see here We'll just introduce what is meant by these two methodologies. So top-down design methodologies. So the figures as figure shows in a top-down design methodology, we define the top level block and then identify the sub blocks necessary to build the top level module. Okay. So we'll be having a top level block here and this will be implemented. It's sub blocks are identified. So in this example, it is shown here four. It may be two, it may be three, it may be four, it may be any number. Okay. So yeah, these are sub blocks identified from that. And again, that sub block will be implemented as a, we further subdivide the sub blocks until we come into leap cells. So again, we can have sub blocks too. Okay. Uh, second set of sub blocks or else you can come to the final leap cell. That means it could not be further uh, divided. Okay. So this is about the top down design methodology. So top level to your uh, bottom level leap cells okay similarly bottom up just uh, opposite to this okay so in bottom up design methodology we first identify the building blocks that are available to us what is available with us so we'll identify that so they are nothing but the leap cells right then we build bigger cells using these building blocks so the arrow mark is shown reverse now so using these building blocks we have built a macro cell Okay. Then these cells are then used for higher level blocks until we build the top level block in the design. So finally, all these macro cells are grouped together and we build a top level block. Okay. So this figure will give a clear analogy. So the just arrow mark is reverse and the concept is also reverse. Okay. So you'll see that with an example in uh, further slides. So in this design methodology, so the digital designers working will be given different names as in IT, there is a software engineer, senior software engineer, software architect, like same way in the digital uh, design. Okay. Those who are working, they will be given some uh, label, right? A combination of top down and bottom up flows is used. Okay. So in the typical use, so here there are many people are working. So design architects, they define the specifications of the top level block. Okay, so you are running a company now, semiconductor company. 
okay and there is a client coming to you and he will say i want so and so design okay or so and so chip is required okay so these design architects uh, they will define the specifications for that top level block if they are using top down methodology the top level block what should be so they will define this okay so then there below that there are logic designers will be there they will decide how the design should be substructured by breaking up the functionality into blocks and sub blocks in this book or in our laboratory we will be discussing very simple example they are not really complex at all okay but in real time okay so real time chips there is a lots of complexity in all so all the things are they are doing new only there is no already existing right so that's why they have to decide that's why they are called as logic designers they will break the functionality into blocks and these names may change from industry to industry okay so in general they have given with respect to very log hdl okay at the same time what will happen circuit designers another level of designers are designing optimized circuits for leap level cells so they will be building top level block these will be building sub blocks and these will be building leap level cells and they build higher level cells by using these leap cells okay even they will uh, try to build the sub blocks okay higher level blocks so another people so because we are using a combination here right so another set of engineers intermediate points where the switch level circuit designers have created a library of leap cells by using switches and the design flow i mentioned there right Uh, in the present industry they completely don't know so for chip manufacturing and all they don't have the efficient uh, which is the efficient method so that's why they will do from top level they will try to do rtl description and they will convert using logic synthesis tools and another way they will uh, have switch level designers they will build the switch and which is optimized results that they will send it for fabrication i told right so the same way these switch level circuits will create a library of leap cells by using switches okay in the most be most okay and they uh, that that is their work and there is another set logic level designers have designed from top down until all modules are defined in terms of leap plans they will look after all the top down is uh, made into, into a small leap cells okay so these are the different uh, notations okay uh, used in design methodologies now we'll see an example to explain this hierarchical modeling concepts with a negative edge triggered 4 bit triple carry counter okay so here the top level block is ripple carry counter now the name of the top level block is 4 bit ripple carry counter what is meant by ripple carry counter so since it is 4 bit so we have four flip flops here and first flip flop will be giving the clock signal okay and the next flip flop it will be taking input from output of a first flip flop similarly for third one from second fourth one from third so like that it is ripple carry okay rippling effect is there okay and this is four bit that's why four flip flops are there and it is a counter it will count from 000 to 1111 it may be up counter down counter anything okay so the two inputs for this counter is reset and clock and the output is q0 q1 q2 q3 so this is the top level block designed by the uh, architects right design architects so next this will be divided into now these are divided into four blocks right t flip flop t flip flop 1 t flip flop 2 t flip flop 3 like that we have divided these are nothing but the sub blocks the second level the ripple carry counter is made up of negative edge triggered toggle flip flops okay that is what shown in that same figure now each of the t flip flops can be made so each of the t flip flops can be made up from negative edge triggered d flip flops and inverters okay so like that there will be uh, so this will be decided by the uh, mid level engineers okay even you can have a different idea you can go for but which will give the optimized results that they will go for okay so this is the uh top level block to leap cells we have come so till here d flip flop and inverter is our leap cell okay so this is the truth table we will discuss later in the simulation part so this now we will build the ripple carry counter is built in a hierarchical fashion by using building blocks so instead of writing directly program for ripple carry counter what we have done now we have followed a top down design methodology and we have breaked the ripple carry counter into four t flip flops named as t flip flop 0 to t flip flop 3 and then each of the t flip flop is built using a single d flip flop and an 
inverter circuit okay not gate so this is the uh, to explain you design methodology okay so to summarize this what we have learned here okay in a top down design methodology we first have to specify the functionality of the ripple carry counter which is the top level block okay so then we will implement the counter with t flip flops that is the sub blocks then we will build the t flip flops from d flip flop and an additional inverter gate they are the leaf cells okay thus we break bigger blocks into smaller building sub blocks until we decide that we cannot break up the blocks into any further okay so this is top down design methodology another sign bottom up design methodology flows in the opposite direction what we do here we combine small building blocks and build bigger blocks okay for example in the same example we could build d flip flop from and and or gates okay d flip flop is the lowest level we have told in top down design methodology but in bottom up we can start from switch level right so and and or gates using nmos pmos okay so we can construct that and we can build a custom d flip flop from transistors and then we can add up bottom up flows meets the top down flow at the level of the dip so now the intermediate point is now d flip flop so from top to down this is flow and bottom here pmos and mos and or gates using that we are doing a custom d flip flop okay so this is just an idea to explain you what is top down design methodology and bottom up design methodology okay so in the next video we will be looking at what is meant by module okay a very long module for whatever the example we have set here we will be using it and then instances of the module that we are looking at okay thank you